let's talk about my mug. Isn't this cute? Yes, this mug is from Walmart. Surprisingly, they had really cute, like, Christmassy things that weren't too chintzy. And this one says, slay all day. All right, so let's get this um, hair tied back and then do something real quick. I really could have taken the wig off and just, like, got it popping with a bonnet. But, listen, I probably have, like, 15 minutes before my phone starts going off. Picked up the green tea and melon. So good. Like, so, so good. I know in my last vlog you guys saw that I mentioned when I was still trying to get that damn blush, which I ended up ordering offline, but I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Stick Foundation in NW45. I actually ordered this offline. I didn't even try it in the store. I just saw it one day and I was like, oh, I want that. I don't think I want to put it. I'll put the residual on my forehead from my sponge because your girl has no time for that. And I think I'm going to do like a little eyeshadow with one of those new Huda Beauty palettes. This is just a little sponge from Sephora because my beauty blenders need to be washed. And this fiber is very close to the original Beauty Blenders fiber. I'm going to go ahead and use Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Deep. I, You guys know I love my NARS Amandi. But I still have a lot of this product left. And I don't mind this concealer. Like, I don't really have dark circles underneath my eyes. Don't y'all come and read me. But I don't really mind this one. Oh, I was talking to my younger sister, telling her about this girl that I decided to cut off and keep her cut off. Not the one that I told you guys, for those of you who are seasoned subscribers. Not the one that I told you guys about, like, a long time ago. This was another one. Where, listen... I grew up not chasing no type of man. Like, I don't even know what that feels like or even the urge. I get it when you really like a guy. You'll do things maybe out of your normal, you know, out of your normal character. But I don't, do, I don't veer too far from my character because I don't got time for that. Like... Plus, you need, if you don't like who I am regularly, then you're not going to, you know what I mean? How long can you keep up a facade? You know, I just need to stop. I need to stick to my guns and stop befriending these, like, I don't want to call them tired, but I notice, like, people will put so much effort into, like, trying to bring you down when you say or move a certain way that makes them uncomfortable like it brings them out of their comfort zone I'm just setting this with the Laura Mercier I'm not baking because I'm actually going to blend this right into my skin in two seconds I'm just setting this with the uh, Laura Mercier translucent powder no I don't have flashback or anything like that and I'm actually going to set my brows too I do this in the morning when I do my brows up she was sitting here doing some investigating, reporting things. Like, some of the stuff she was doing, I was like, okay, Satan, I see you. Because you're going to cause me to crack this girl's skull open. And then I'm going to be in problems. So, no. So, yeah, if you guys noticed, I didn't put a lot of that powder on. Because I kind of want to, like, set everything in. I'm not going to contour or bronze or anything like that. Because it's nighttime. I just wanted this portion to be kind of highlighted. Tell Satan to come get his minion because I really did not have time for the nonsense. So sometimes like people are sent to get you out of your character to make you go off. And I was just like, nope. But she kept picking and picking. And I was just like, nope, I'm going to resist it. I'm going to use this Huda Beauty palette. And I'm using one eyeshadow brush. What is this one? The Topaz Obsessions. So I'm going to start... I have an idea in my head. I don't know how I'm going to execute it, but I'm going to take this color here and put it in my crease and see how that rocks out. So, yeah, um, I'm just going to put it up here. Yeah, that damn girl wanted to keep picking, 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 picking. And, like, doing subtle, sneaky shit. And because she's soft-spoken, and I clearly am not soft-spoken... 
I know people would look at her like the victim and I realize there's a lot of people that play the victim just because they know they'll do stuff like they'll poke the bear like I'm so sick and tired of people trying to tell somebody how to act what to do let me keep blending this out and I'll finish my thought using that same brush I am going to apply this color to my mobile lid and to get the excess product off yes this is a hair donut get a hair donut and just not a used one guys not a used one make sure you wash it your color and put it on my lid and see how that looks or is that a lighter color looks lighter it's more orange I don't know what possessed me to say oh I want to do an orange lid I just it just happened so you know what I just realized? There's not so much fallout from these. I know it's looking crazy, but I promise you it's gonna come together. Oh my God, it's looking crazy. But I have to say these colors are really vibrant considering the fact that I didn't use a primer. It showed up on dark skin really nicely. So now I'm gonna go in, you know, I bought the shadow underneath here. I'm just gonna take the baby wipe and just clean that up. But I'm gonna go into this brown color and just kind of de deepen up my crease. Just take the tip of the brush and put a little bit of that in there and just slowly work it in. I just, I can't bring myself to like really rock with people after I feel betrayed. It's just not going to happen. So I'm very quick to cut people off and that's what I have to do in order to protect myself and my sanity. I'm going to add some more concealer and hopefully I could pull this together once I put on some lashes and something because I am not crazy about this. I'll be back. I never put enough lash glue on the front corner, this portion. I never do. So as you can see, I did not put any liner on because I just feel like liner defeats the whole purpose of me just trying to schlep this on. And I just looked at the time and I'm like, oh, I did pretty well with time. Maybe I will put some bronzer or um, light contour to my face. All right, see? So with a little mascara and my beanie lashes, with some lashes, these are the Ardell. You guys know I only use Ardell lashes because I'm such... I can't commit to any of the lashes. My eyes are super small and Ardell just does me right. So I'm a creature of habit. The Demi Wispies. I don't know why I always start in the middle. I never like take this one off or this one off. I always start either here or here in these multi-packs. Let's do the other eye. Okay, so I brightened up the ring light a little bit. I don't know if it's too bright, but I want you guys to see how it came out. If I wasn't running my mouth while I did this, I'm sure it would have took me like five minutes. I decided that I want a little bit more coverage. I like how this comes out. So I'm going to use, this is actually really, actually very comparable, if not better, but you have to buy it in store. Um, This is the Sephora. I have two of these. This is the Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Face Compact. And this is in color 60 Deep. It is very comparable to MAC's uh, Mineralized Skin Finish. However, when this oxidizes, it like gets darker. There's my phone going off. And it just looks so good. I don't know how to describe it. <sighs> I do want to add a little highlight. Um... My tried and true, my MAC Superb Extra Dimension Skin Finish. And this little brush here, I'm just going to add a little bit because I don't need to be looking like a light bulb. But, you know, you like that little subtle glow. Let me see if I turn this down. Oh, I don't know if I want to do a glossy lip or a matte lip. So let's start with matte and then we can go glossy if need be guys i am going to go into my little lippy bag the color that i'm going to use is actually max whirl and chestnut lip liner i got max whirl as a sample and i never even considered this color i don't know why i never considered this color this was a color i was trying to show you in the last video because i guess it's because you always heard like whirl is a favorite this is just chestnut liner whirl is a favorite of a lot of really light girls 
on, you know, social media. So I just never like thought about it. And actually, you know what? Let me take off chestnut. I want you guys to see how it looks without chestnut. Yeah, let me show you how Whirl looks straight out the tube, just on the lip, just to give you an idea. Um. So this is how I usually apply all of my lipsticks. Like I don't put it all, I put it in the center and just kind of blot them out. You can do this too, but if you kind of pout, 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 you can get like a really pretty subtle soft look from it. But I actually really love this color. And now that I look at it, I'm gonna skip chestnut. Real is super pretty. Like give Whirl a try the next time you're near a counter. And just see if you'll like it. I have a feeling a lot of you would like it. I kind of want a glossy lip tonight, though. So, I'm actually just going to put my MAC lip gloss on top of Whirl. See, I'll just put a little bit in here and just kind of let it disperse on its own. So then, I have a love-hate relationship with MAC's lip gloss because I have to keep them in these little baggies it leaks well it's not leaking now but it's leaked out and I haven't appreciated it so I'm just gonna put a little bit on my fingertip mm. let me see how yeah feeling a glossy lip why not so yeah <laughs> litmus day one the color of today is max whirl give it a whirl such a cornball such a cornball so you guys i made it before nine o'clock it is 8 52 my trifling ass friends are not here yet shall we do a fragrance of the day actually because i can see it right here and i don't use it nearly as much as i should be i'm gonna use lancome's la vida belle eros i think this one's called La Vie Este Belle and Rose. Again. French is not my forte. Yeah, this is nice. Ooh. Because you know what? I haven't been using a big bottle because I, I still had a bunch of samples that I just used the testers, but it just revived. I forgot that I used Bath and Body Works Rose Water and Ivy. Favorite scent. I use that as my uh, body wash and I just feel like it just kind of ooh, mm, I love Lancome's fragrances they do a good job so what do you guys think I think the orange eyeshadow actually came out really good and once my makeup kind of settles I'll take some pictures and maybe insert them in this video if I can yeah I like him I hope you guys like this ring light shit is killing me in this um viewfinder because I feel like it's just giving me a shadow here let me stop looking at the viewfinder before I delete this video all right you guys let me see if I can upload this I'll probably be able to upload this and respond to the three comments I'll get before my friends get here because I know they're trifling finish my coffee probably make another cup because I told you I'm trying to be a thought tonight hey hey take care